This is BBC Two. Now, approaching 11 o'clock, we come together for the nation to mark Armistice Day for two minutes of silence. Welcome. If you are just joining us, it is approaching the 11th hour of the 11th month of the 11th day, a day on which we mark the armistice, an agreement to end the fighting of the First World War. It brought about the peace negotiations. It began at 11 o'clock on the 11th of November in 1918. We're preparing for a two-minute silence. That begins at 11 o'clock this morning. It is, of course, an event based in history, but a timely reminder of the current conflicts that are being fought around the world. The moment remembers those who have given their lives in service to our country. It also reminds us, too, of the importance of keeping the stories of service and sacrifice alive. It is a moment of quiet reflection and remembrance of those who died in the service of their country. There, the Cenotaph, the 103-year-old war memorial on Whitehall in central London, the centre of commemorations both today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, of course, Remembrance Sunday, where the National Service of Rem Remembrance at the Cenotaph will be attended by the royal family, his king, senior members of the government, and a march past of 10,000 veterans.
And there we end the two minute silence to mark the 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month Armistice Day, the agreement that brought an end to the fighting in the First World War. It is an event, of course, based in history, a time to remember and reflect, but also a timely reminder of the current conflicts being fought right now around the world. This moment, of course, remembering those who have given their lives in service to our country since 1914. It is about the importance of keeping stories of service and sacrifice alive. You're watching BBC News. Join us for an evening of inspiring stories, bold innovation and incredible performances, all coming together to celebrate the Earthshot Prize. The solutions needed to repair and restore our planet are within reach. The Earthshot Prize, tomorrow at 5.20 on BBC One and iPlayer. The incredible true story of our greatest writer. He didn't finish school. Leaving his wife and children must have been painful. He's talking about the dilemmas you face. Shakespeare wanted to take risks. The stakes were incredibly high. His understanding of everything, love, anger, who's ever done it better? Shakespeare, Rise of a Genius. Watch on BBC iPlayer. Mary Berry's latest in an hour. Mary makes it easy. Before that, high hopes for money on a plate. <laughs>